for talking about the fact that there might be a dramatic move in the stock market if talks in Washington uh, go awry. Tell me how you're expecting the next couple of weeks to play out. There's a high probability that we know the stock market's going to watch the politicians very closely. And there's a high probability that at some point along the way, there will be a misstep in Washington. People think they have a good deal. It will be a bad deal. And the market will tell them. Uh, and how will they tell them in terms of a drop? 2% drop, 3% drop. It will not be uh, anything that we haven't seen in the past. But, but, but it will be enough to get people's attention. Is the fiscal cliff the biggest risk right now to the markets? Right. Until the end of the year, of course. And we fully expect there to be some kind of medium-term resolution to get past the most dramatic moments. But there's still going to be a lot of work to do that the market will watch closely all through 2013. You actually think investors should be thinking about risk differently or looking at risk differently. What do you mean by that? And how does an investor respond to risk then? Well, traditionally, people look at volatility as risk. But if the market goes up 2% in a day and then goes down 2% the next day and ends up unchanged, that's not really risk. That's just noise. So we have to look past the noise, and we have to look to see where the real opportunities and challenges are. And the biggest challenge today is in negative short-term real interest rates. Um, bond investors are just being penalized tremendously for safety and soundness. And if you're going to lose real purchasing power through time, we think that's real risk.